really. I I don't know what to say. Where do I begin? The Fred movie. Worst movie ever made. Why? What's right with it? That's the right answer. That's an, a better question. So for those who are lucky enough to not have any knowledge behind this, Fred is a, for some reason, a popular, well, he's not really popular anymore, but a uh, former popular youth, YouTube, a fa famous YouTuber, and and who for a while he was the most subscribed YouTuber for a while. What? And you know what his comedic bit is? He brings his voice up to annoy an annoyingly high, high, high pitch, and says random crap. And for some reason, Nickelodeon thought. Ooh, ooh, this is good to comedy. We could profit from this and make a movie out of it. Yeah, I don't know what they're smoking either. So, then a Fred movie was made. And I hate Fred, so I didn't watch it. No. But two years later, I found out it's on Netflix, and just out of curiosity, I watched it, because I'm that kind of person. And, boy... I seriously cannot believe I survived through the whole thing. I mean, I know it's an hour and a half long, but to me, it's like 168 hours. Really, even the first 10 seconds, like this is the first 10 seconds of the movie. Hi, it's Fred. Today's Friday. Oh my God, see that does it sounds like Fred Day. Friday, 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 Friday. Two all day, you know it's gonna like, be your happiness. That's the first ten minutes, people. First ten. You thought that was annoying? Try for an hour and a half. So what's the plot of this movie, you ask? Boy, is that the million dollar question there. Be why? There is no plot! It's just Fred doing a bunch of random stuff! And, like, it starts off with Fred doing random stuff, and then he keeps doing random stuff. And he just keeps doing random stuff. Give Batman and Robin and Drop Dead Fred credit, at least they had plots. So, what Nickelodeon advertised that there was a so-called plot, where Fred has to, like, travel half, like, half cross-country to basically find this girl, sh girl he, had a, he has a crush on because she moved. And, for, and even though, like, she even stalked, he even stalks her on her way home from school in the beginning, even though she lives right next door to him. What? And how's he, you think that, oh, it's stalking, well, you, how does he stalk her? Well, he does things like walking across the street in front of her car, wearing a trash can on his head, and lying down on the sidewalk with a tree branch under his crotch. How does that help you get a get a girl? Okay, maybe this movie isn't. No, I'm not kidding. It's horrible. Horrible. I yeah, really not only that, but there is a scene when Fred is trying to find Judy, and he finds this Mexican, and he's like, um, and he's like, oh my god, why is there a voice in my head that didn't make sense? Get away from me, spaceman! You're a spaceman! <laughs> yeah, not only is Fred annoying, but he's also racist.
you know what? <sighs> Parents are pretty hypocritical when it comes to entertainment. Like, how does Ren and Stimpy get controversial, and yet, and yet, if Fred's racist, that's totally fine. Man, parents suck at their job. And pretty much the whole movie is just Fred doing random stuff, and there's these just stupid jokes. Like, and his dad is, and for some reason he has this imaginary dad played by. Do I even need to say who he is? John Cena. He's not even a good wrestler. What makes you think he could be a great actor? And pretty much he... And pretty much uh, no one, he's the only one I could see his dad, and they never really explained, but I looked up at supposed to be his imaginary dad, like an imaginary friend, but it's just his idea of what he wants in a father. So... His idea of a father is him a father who constantly beats him up and wrestles with him. Oh, I wish my dad beats me up. All he does is hug me and do fun things with me. Yeah, my dad sucks. Seriously, Fred, what's wrong with you? And his mom is just... What can I say? She's played by Vicky Guerrero. That's it. Wait, no wonder Fred's so annoying. His parents are played by two of the most annoying people in the whole WWE. No, this is making sense. And, oh, and you'll love this. There is a scene where Fred is walking in the forest, and I am not joking this up. He meets a talking deer. No, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Really, look it up. Just type it, Fred movie deer scene. Really. I'm not making it up. Why is there a talking deer? They never, they never explain it. All, all the deer says is that deer, deer can talk. Like, he's like, do all deers talk? It's deer. The plural of deer is deer. And yes, we can't talk. But they never really explain they never explain why there is a talking deer out of the forest. You're just supposed to accept the fact. What was the writer on when he wrote this movie? How do you think they wrote it? Perhaps it went something like this. Hey, President of Nickelodeon, I got this script idea for a movie. What is it? It's a movie about this popular YouTube star, Fred, because kids love him, right? Yeah, isn't that the one with the, the talking fruit? No, it's the one about the screen kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it about? Uh, a kid has a crush on a girl. Uh, he travels to find the girl, mm -hmm. and he meets the girl. And that's it. Uh, that's it. We're gonna let the seventeen-year-old do it. Well, either way, the audience isn't gonna care. So why should we even try? Yeah. Has this got the Jonah Pictures Network? Yeah, that that's pretty much my theory of what happened. And believe it or not, the very next year they made a sequel. And I'm glad I never watched it, because the first one is the worst movie I've seen in my entire life. So you're thinking, oh, it's the end of Fred. But no, shortly after that, there was a Fred TV show. It's bad enough he has two movies, but a TV show. Are you kidding me? And you think then, and then it got ended, and you think it, then they have no idea with Fred, but no, they made a third Fred movie. And then after that, they made a TV show called Marvin Marvin. 
but luckily Niccolo inspired Lucas Chris, 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 Chris what's his knit face and I don't know that guy has no talent why did you hire him Nickelodeon why Thank goodness, like, what makes you think this kid has talent? What, snap, you're going to hire Jason Freiberg and Eric Seltzer to do a kid's movie, a made-for-TV one on Nickelodeon? What the heck's wrong with you, Nickelodeon? Oh, not only that, but Brian Roberts produced this movie. Yep. The director of Good Burger, the producer of Keenan Cal, the producer of All That, the producer of The Minnesota, and a bunch of other 90s Nick products, produced this. You think that I, I would attempt to shoot myself in the head after I read about that? But you'd be wrong. I... I was going to attempt to shoot myself in the head as soon as the movie was announced. Why did this movie have potential? Who thought this movie had potential? If, seriously, even the mentally ill wouldn't find this movie funny. It's the worst movie ever. Hands down, no exception. It's worse than Furry Vengeance. It's worse than Batman and Robin. It's worse than Master of Disguise. It's even worse than Drop Dead Fred. Ugh. You know, I actually met a few kids that act I had a kid in my class one time in fourth grade that said that this movie was funny. Wow, you must have a horrible taste in comedy, man. I don't know if you're watching this, but if you are, you have a horrible taste in comedy. You are just... Whoever... I don't think even kids would like this movie. I mean... Yeah, I mean, yeah, kids do have pretty bad taste in movies, but... I'm serious. They, they will not love this movie. At least ones that have brains w wouldn't. Like. And plus. There's like a bunch of scenes. There's one, a bunch of scenes. Where it involves bad stuff happening to Fred. And we think that'd be the end. But nope. It's just his imagination. Uh, why would you tease us, writers, to think that something bad is going to happen to Fred, but it's just his imagination? Plus, I think Fred needs therapy. Seriously, have you ever met any kid in the world that that's in real life that constantly imagines bad stuff happening to them? Okay, aside from kids who are forced to watch this movie, but that's the point, besides the point. I hope they never even release the Fred TV show on DVD. It's bad enough they released all three movies on DVD, but I hope they don't release the TV show. Or Marvin Marvin. Seriously, Lionsgate, you, you need to get rid of that. You need to put that DVD in the vault like Disney does with their classic movies. You can just relax with it. I mean, you can keep Happily Never After, even though that movie sucks. You can keep it. But you cannot sell that movie. It's evil. Heck, if you laugh at if you laugh at this movie, there's a slight insulation that your IQ level's going down. You know, I just I don't think I can live in a world where where people enjoy this movie. I mean, yeah, most of the world hates it, but 
I've met some people that say it's good. Can I accept this as my as my planet? I don't think so. I can't live in a society where a move be like as bad as this exists. I can live in a world with furry vengeance. I can live in a world with Batman Robin. I can even live in a world with drop dead breath. But I cannot live in a society where this movie exists. Sorry this is, is a bit, sorry this is pretty long, but what do you expect? It's the worst movie ever. There's tons to talk about. So bottom line, stay away from the Fred movie. Even if you see it for like selling for like a penny, it's definitely not worth it. So stay away from the Fred movie as long as you can.